Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the OC Genius. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to charge a battery. Basically, uh, this is a question that I asked myself when I first started the RC hobby. And it was basically, on the charger, how do I know how to charge my battery with all these selections here? How do I charge the battery without overcharging it or undercharging it? And that's what I'm going to be doing today, is showing you how to set up your charger for your battery. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this first and we're going to see right here let's get the camera to focus there we go you can see all of these numbers now I went through this a little bit with my charger review of this charger however I didn't really go into detail of uh, how you you take the numbers and put it into uh, the type of battery that you have so what this is is 0.1 amps 0.1 amps uh, will basically be a hundred milliamp hour battery um, 0.25 amps will be 250 uh, milliamp hour battery uh, 0.5 will be 500 0.75 is uh, 750 and then you'll go to one amp, and that'll be a thousand milliamp hours. So, say you have a Traxxas vehicle that came with a three thousand milliamp hour battery, you'll just put it to three amps. You never want to overcharge it. So, if you have a forty-five hundred milliamp hour battery, don't put it to five. Put it to four. It'll still fully charge the battery. However, it will. It might take a little bit longer, um, but don't overcharge it with the five. Then, uh, if you have, you know, like a little airplane battery and it's a LiPo and it's a 700 milliamp hour battery, that's actually what I have for my airfield plane, uh, you'll put it to, hmm, if it's a 700 milliamp hour battery, you'll want to put it to 500. Uh, if it's a 800, put it to 750. You know, these are just examples I'm giving you. If you have a 2,500 milliamp hour battery, you can put it to 2.5 right here. And on this charger, how you do that, you can see that in my review. But how you do it is you just hit this little red button on the right, and that'll switch it. Um, and always make sure that you're in the right battery um, selection. So if you're charging a nickel metal high drive, make sure that you're in that mode. Or if you're doing LiPo, make sure you're in LiPo. So, yeah. Really, when I'm making a video, when I'm deciding uh, what I want to do for a video, I do videos that uh, would answer questions that I've asked myself before. Because if I've asked them myself, I have the feeling that other people would certainly do the same. So this was kind of just an instruction, ex instructional video, sorry, and this can save you a phone call to the manufacturer, uh, and hopefully you found this helpful. Um, on how to set up the uh, current select for your battery. So thanks everyone for watching. Uh, my new intro on my last video that I uploaded last night, um, that, the sound you might have noticed was a little bit bad. Um, I think I fixed it, so this video hopefully was better. Um, I'm really hoping it was. But yeah, so I'm also going to be announcing now that I am going to be uploading every Tuesday and Thursday, and sometimes on the weekend, so uh, make sure that you stay tuned for that, and also hit the bell icon every time uh, uh, you watch videos, so that way you can get notified when I upload. So please like and subscribe, share my videos, we're still trying to go for that 50 subscribers. Uh, and I'll see you next time on the RC Genius.